Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Slide 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we started prep work to get Murray out of the prison, and we also got all the clue bottles and robbed the Contessa of her long toss move. Tonight, we are going to be hopefully finishing up all the prep work here. We have one mission down by the bridge, as you can see from that really bad, uh, bad draw distance. There's also the matter of the two missions inside the prison wall still, and the treasure that's also rested inside the prison, but for now, Sly looks like he's ready to take up baseball. Anyways, enough talking, now that the guard has decided to leave, it is time for us to head on down and do a little bit of sabotage. First things first though, I do need to take care of this guy over here real quick. I'm just gonna sneak up on him and boop! Hope you know how to swim. Ooh, he doesn't. Ooh, you've got a shiny. I want it. Give it to me. Give it to me right now. Whatever you got, I must have it. It's mine! Silver! Sly, those giant pipes under the bridge feed power to the prison security systems. I'll need to cut the connection to free Murray. Sounds like a plan. What do you need me for? As you know, the bridge is heavily guarded. I hear you. You'd like a little protection while you place the bombs. That's correct. Love to help out, but there's nowhere to hide on the bridge. We're totally exposed. That's true. To fool the guards, you'll need to break those statues and take their place. I pose like a statue, the guards walk on by, then pow! I hit them from behind. You're a genius. That's also correct. Alright, seems easy enough. Break a statue, take its position, and for whatever reason, no one knows, notices that the statue's eyes keep darting back and forth and blinking, and also is not a statue at all, and looks like the recently escaped prisoner. Uh, you got a shiny in your pocket, but unfortunately, I gotta take you out before you get the Bentley. I'm done here. Follow me to the top of the bridge. Alright, now it's basically a game of back and forth of you just taking up a statue's position, uh, take care of the guard that's coming out of the gate, and then just run to the other side of the bridge. There's different, like, groups of guards, like, usually it's, like, a couple back guards, maybe a flashlight guard. I don't think there's ever two flashlight guards at once, because that would be incredibly unfair. And thankfully, up on the bridge, it gives you a little bit more leeway if you see any shinies in the guard's pockets, because Bentley will always be at the opposite side of the bridge. Let's just take care of him. And then make our way down here because some uninvite. No? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, shit. Okay, I was actually wrong. Uh, sometimes the guards will pop in uh, multiple times. You usually have to wait for the word up from Bentley to uh, let you know if you need to go to other places. Or if you actually do see guards coming out of the gates over there because that's the real reason why these gates are here. Oh, boy. Hey, Bob, doesn't that statue look a little different from the other ones? Uh, what do you mean, Phil? Well, it looks like that recently escaped prisoner Cooper. Nah, it couldn't be him. Cooper could be long gone. Why would he want to stick around here? I don't know. Hey, is that a turtle down there? Yeah, that looks like a turtle to me. What's he doing? I don't know. Whoa, oh, God! Alright, well, that takes care of them. And the flashlight guard's coming this way. Heading back across the bridge. Mm, hate bridge patrol duty. Why do I always have to be up here? It's so cold, so snowy. Wind's blowing all over the place, and it's all so creepy out here. I want to go back home to my family. I hate this job. Why do I ever take it up? Contessa doesn't even give me benefits for the whole thing. It would be a, such a shame if something bad were to happen, because my life insurance would never be able to cover it, because I don't have any- Oh, God! Hey, did you hear what happened to Frank and Joe? No, what happened? Well, apparently some insane prisoner uh, decided to disguise himself as a statue and ambushed him as he was patrolling this bridge. Wow, when would that happen? Like, 30 seconds ago. Wow, word travels fast, huh? You're telling me. It'd be such a shame if something were to happen to us as we were walking across this bridge. Oh, no! Position. 
I'm en route to set the fort. Man, it's weird what happened to Bob and Mark up here. What happened to Bob and Mark? Well, some insane prisoner was disguising himself as a statue on this bridge, jumped out and ambushed them, and knocked them out, and also sent them flying over the edge. Wow, that is really bad to do it. When did that happen? About 10 seconds ago. Wow, word travels fast up here, huh? Yeah, you believe the contention. Oh, look, it's a prisoner! Oh no. Flashlight, flashlight. Yeah, bridge stuff. I don't know if this is a bridge too far. What's even so good? Uh, we're just protecting the only way to the Contessa's house. It's not like she ever pays us enough to do this type of job. I, don't, I asked for a bonus last time, but she just laughed at my face. Oh god! This bomb is ready. Alright, I believe this is actually the last group of guards to come out. Which makes sense why it's the biggest group out of all of them. Man, it sure is a shame what happened to Harold. What happened to Harold? Well, some insane prisoner was disguising himself as a statue on this bridge, but jumped out and attacked him. Oh, really? Man, he really wanted that bonus, didn't he? Yeah, that's why he took up this job, to help support his wife and kids. How are they? Oh, well, they're newly hatchlings. But unfortunately, it looks like they're going to have to grow up without a father because he went flying up the bridge and met a watery end. Yeah, what a shame. It's a good thing nothing bad ever happens to- Okay! Another one's in place. I'm moving to the other side of the bridge. Hmm, I wonder what these things are. They look like eggs. They also kind of look like high explosives, but that's weird. Who would put high explosives on a bridge? That just seems silly. It's not like anything will ever break this bridge. It's made out of adamantium. What's the worst? Oh, I... yep. mm. Just want to get through this patrol so I can finally go and warm myself up by a nice fire. Who thought putting a bird out here at this type of weather was a good idea? Contessa really needs to reach out to more types of guards, I swear. The last charge is set! Let's get out of here! That takes care of the power to the security system. Well, these Prague architects really work fast, don't they? Because they change those wolf statues back to bat statues in an instant. Alright, well, now that the bridge demolition is done, all that's left to do is go up into the prison. But before we do that, we do have a lot of treasure that we can turn in back at the safe house, which I think that's what we're going to do first thing. Uh-oh. I am surprised that the flashlight didn't actually get over this as I was jumping into it. Hello? Uh-oh. All right, hopefully the treasure that we've picked up from the past couple of jobs, we can now actually get Murray's gadget so I don't forget it. If not, then at least it'll be some extra money in our back pockets. Oh yeah, we definitely have enough money for it. Yoink. There we go. And once again, it's another passive ability for Murray, so we don't have to worry about it for him. Uh, equipping it to him. Murray actually has the most passive abilities of all the, of all the members in the game. Alright, I guess we can take the high road to get up to there. Oops, we got high road. Oh no! Man, who, who just put a security light up there to watch over that one spot on the rooftop? It seems like a waste of resources, to be honest. Especially since the guard just shirks his duties and leaves almost immediately. I swear, every single statue I've come across has just been a guard in disguise, which is weird. I've never had such bad luck with these guys. Alright, I actually do need to... Every single one! Oh, okay, maybe almost all of them, because I remember there was one guard over there that was actually still a statue, or one statue over there that actually was a statue and not a guard in disguise. Back over here. Hop up, up over here. 
And now we get our choice. And let's see, I think what I'll do as the first job will be lightning action. Just because it's actually a much more preferable one if I want to maximize getting the treasure. Whoa. As well as get uh, just things in a cohesive manner. He's going back that way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the jump there, so I'm going to wait and go over here. Also because this guy has a shiny in his pocket and I want it. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Ooh, gold! I will take that gladly. Thank you for your contribution. With all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. And giant attack robot. Uh-huh, yeah... By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. It sounds ridiculous, but Bentley ain't lying. So for now, let's just take care of this one right here. Nice work. That lightning rod is out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other rods. Let's just start making a way around town. I think what... Ooh, no. I do not want to make my way that way. If you've been around town, then you understand uh, where all the lightning rods have been. They are these red pylons that are all throughout the place. Ooh. Okay, uh, oh, you got a shiny in your pocket. My OCD-ness is compelling me. Must have shiny. It's a good thing my OCD-ness told me to go for this guy. We only got four lightning rods to take care of. Two are down in the, the city streets. The other two are up here on the prison walls. I want to save the prison wall ones for last because once the mission's done, we'll be up in the prison and also up on the walls, so it's easier to grab the little lantern treasure that's over back on that main tower, so for now, I just need a way to get up over to that. I can go for at least one of them, that way I can just take care of them easily. It actually is really dangerous. Uh, the more of these lightning rods you take out of commission, the faster the lightning will attack the still active lightning rods. So, it's kind of a risk versus reward thing. It's like, okay, uh, there's less other things to do, but also it's going to get more dangerous as you do so because you get less time to affect the rods. All right, let's wait for this guy to turn his back. You'll get an indicator when the lightning's about to strike because the area around the lightning rod will start glowing up like that. Excuse me, sir. Uh, don't mind me. Just doing a little bit of engineering work. Oh, really? Get, Get out of here. Head back go this way. Head over to the train tracks because that is where our fourth lightning rod is. It's also probably the most visited one because it's my favorite way to get back into the prison. Over. All right. 
now for some dangerous work because it's a 50-50 shot that it's going to strike right here. Come on. Slide. Turn the wheel. There we go. Not up there. Go. Slide. Please. Slide. Is he not actually grabbing it because it, it's count as like a, a thing? Oh, nope. There we go. I was inside the electricity there, but thankfully Sly is immune to red electricity as opposed to any other electricity. Last rod is right over there. Just a little up and over, and we have this mission in the bag. One. Sly, please. Two. Come on, turn it. There we go. Like I said, giant attack robot. That guard down there has got to be freaking out. It's just like, oh my god, that thing's actually been a robot this entire time. And he goes for the swing, and he doesn't even bother with it. Now... I kind of really wish that there was something to do with the robot. Yeah, we put it out of commission, but I also would have wondered what exactly would this thing have done had we not knocked it out of commission? It didn't look like it had any way of getting out of this little enclosure right here. It, I guess maybe its eyes were acting like searchlights, so it probably like shut the beams out like other searchlights do. I don't know. It just like it seems like a really weird spot for it. And I feel like it should have been maybe more in town-ish. That way, it would help. Uh, patrol the streets and keep criminals from uh, escaping the city. Oh, this is bad. You saw nothing? I don't even know where that wolf guard was. All right, well, whatever. Here's one of the treasures. This one's trapped, so let's just make our way over to the safe house. And thankfully, it is literally right over the wall right here. Just need to be careful of the searchlights and the flashlight guard that's coming down that way. Thankfully, I got a workaround. Don't mind me, just a guy going for a nice leisurely stroll with some priceless artifact on his back, and we're good. Alright, so to save on travel time, I will see you all back up at the prison by that main tower for the next treasure that we are missing. Alright, we are back where we left off. Let's grab ourselves a really nice looking lantern. Thankfully this one's not booby trapped, which is weird that they... Uh, didn't make the one in the hardest to reach area not trapped, but all right, you know what? I'm happy about it. Saves me some time of getting back to the safe house and also saves me some headache of, oh no, am I going to have to do some risks to get back to the safe house in one piece? Let me just take care of this guy real quick. And I might as well take care of your friend because he's in my way. And with that, treasure number two is secured. All right, I will meet you back in the prison for treasure number three. All right, so treasure number three is actually in this little compound right here where we got one of the clue bottles. Uh, this place is heavily patrolled by usually like either an enforcer guard or a reinforcer guard. And for the most part, it's kind of annoying to get out of. Also, the treasure in here is trapped, so you're going to have to be fast in on your feet and figure out a good game plan of getting out of this place. Thankfully, I know a way out. Wow, I'm surprised that the flashlight guard over there hurt him. Let's grab this. You only get a minute and a half to get the treasure back to the safe house. And with me flubbing up that jump. Well, really, Sly? Sly. All right. Going to have to actually play a little risky right here. Make a run for it. And we only got a minute. I'm not even going to bother with that guard over there. I think we're out of range of his vision. We'll take out this guy, though, because he is in my way. And thankfully, there's no patrols in front of the safe house, so the guards over here get to avoid my wrath for this time. And with that, all treasures have been secured. 
So, as is custom. Sell all that stuff. Sell the ceremonial lantern, the crystal ball, and the golden orb. Damn. 2,500 coins. We are rolling in it. Alright, I'll see you back up at the prison one more time so we can get started with this final prep mission. Alright, and we are back in the prison as I stand over my newly conquered kill. It is time for us to get to the final mission of this area, and it is sitting right over there, right underneath where the lightning rod mission was. We're going to take out this guy real quick, make our way over there. Hopefully no flashlight guards uh, heard that takedown. Eh, doesn't look like it. And let's get started with this final mission. Sly, I need your help getting a handle on the Contessa's encryption algorithm. I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off, then clear out if the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. Bentley, you need to remember, you need to use simple words with Sly. He's not a big tech nerd like you are. All right, so got to take care of the guards over here. We can't kill them because, well, we need them to activate the little security stations around town. So for now, we'll just take his key. Nice work. Now use that key to set off the security station. And I uh, wonder what this button does. Oops, okay, wrong button. Now climb to a good spot where you'll be able to get a picture of the security code on the monitor. Also, Bentley, I thought you said the guard was going to come running. It looks more like he's just taking a brisk walk towards the the security station. Right, now we lie in wait, wait for him to put in the code. If he ever makes his way over there. Always wondered how he would uh, be able to put in that code when he doesn't even have fingers. Alright, so there is actually not one over there. I thought there was like, two inside the prison walls, but nope, I was wrong. The rest are just throughout town. Thankfully, there's only four we have to deal with. However, I'm going to say this right now. I am not the biggest fan of this mission. In fact, I kind of find it incredibly annoying. I don't know what it is about this mission. It's just... It feels janky at times. There, There's a couple of these security stations where it's like... Okay, you really need to go out of your way to get to the right position. And even then, where you think the right position is, it's actually the wrong position. It was the position right next to it, which was considered to be the right position. Anyways... Uh, I believe the position for this code area is up on the little train tunnel right there. And just swipe the key from this guy. Alright, there we got this. And we could ring the bell to get his attention, but instead I'm just going to use my new lawn toss ability to throw that alarm clock wide right over there. Now see, that is going running towards something. Thankfully... We can use this time searching for that invisible alarm clock to make our way over here to this secluded area. And I think... Yep. You actually have to be on this little spire... Look, spire... I don't even know what this is. It's like a little bat spire thing. Anyways, stand up here. Wait for him to put the code in. And there we go. Next one is all the way over by the safe house, so let's just... Uh, you've got something shiny in your pocket. I must have it. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Although this one, probably a little risky because of that really badly placed searchlight. Alright, it wasn't that bad. Alright, 
Let's see. I think, yeah, he's patrolling back and forth down there. The location for us to take the picture of this code is actually up there on that little, like, ledge overlooking the gate up here. I never understood why there's a gate for, like, guards to come out like what they did with the bridge mission because nothing ever comes out of that gate. That gate is just, I guess, maybe just a way to show how maybe Bentley drove into town. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. All right, buddy. I'm going to need you to stay over there for a bit. Just keep going that way. Make my way up here. Go for a swing. Get a nice picture a little bit closer. I don't know how you're going to work with that one, Bentley, because it looked like half the number was cut off, but all right. Uh, are there, yeah, you know what? I think there might be. Yeah, there's patrols up on the bridge now still. Not going to go for it. I saw something shiny in that guard's pocket. However, uh, d there's usually like four to five guards uh, that are disguised as statues, and with my luck of the statue guards, I'm not going to risk it. Instead, I will just sneak my way around this guy. Oh, seriously, two of them? Ah, oh, these wolf guards are so annoying. And over you go. Thankfully, I don't believe the tank patrols around here. It's just a flashlight. Or, and speaking of which, where is he? Oh, there he is. All right, I'm actually going to wait for him to... Oh, wow, he actually has a pretty far patrol pattern. Uh, this one's actually the most out of the way one because you need to get up to that ledge where one of the clue bottles was sitting and that means we gotta climb up the house a bit and then jump onto that little spire location so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this guy something to look at like I did with the rest of the guards no all but one but you know what I mean Buddy, here, go take a look at this. And this looks to be a perfect spot. Yep, perfect spot. Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in, and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. <laughs> 